do you think at, at, um, at UDS, most file players got to top? Well, because everybody was playing, playing that Pendulum Magician attack, man. Yeah, fast. Bro, that Wavering Eyes of 3, that was way too good to give up. It was like, whoa, let me try this, actually. <laughs> I actually uh, considered playing Pendulum Magicians, and I'm like, Dual Slides has shot up to 30s. I'm good. Reprint. I am so glad for that. Also, another thing, when, when Konami sees the hype for, for expensive cards and then reprints them as lower rarities as possible. You see, that is... I, I, that's I, a, that's I think, a good yeah, thing. That's I, a good I, thing. I, I think that's a good side of Konami. I think, I think they're, like, Konami has this like good side in like a small room. Where like, like, like they, they, one, they guy, let, one guy in like a corner is like thinking of the the players of the other yeah like 90. like like they, like they they let this guy out like once a year to actually <laughs> do something good for the game so I think um, they've let him out a little bit too long now uh, well not it's not know. a bad thing like with the dual alliance thing um, when dual alliance shot up like twenties thirties occasionally forties God no um, a few weeks later they they leaked the. Dual Alliance common reprint in the Legendary Dragon decks in twos, not just in one. Now you get two of them in the Dragon deck in Yuya's Yuya's deck, right? Yuya, that's the name. Yeah. Yuya, Yuya's a copy again. I feel like they, like, they do stuff like that with the Legendary Collection, just so that it's more of like uh, it's a, a must-have for like competitive players as well. Because when Konami looks at their player base, they understand the casuals and the collectors, but they also know that the competitive players are the ones who are gonna like stick with them the most, um, especially with those expensive cards. You know, you're gonna buy like five, ten boxes. You're gonna buy like a case. You're gonna buy That's a few awesome. cases. Robbie Cole uh, oh. <laughs> of uh, you know of, of like every set if it's like if it has these real solid decent cards. Um, I mean, not to throw any shade. I mean, I, I think that's a real smart idea. Uh, on you know the player's part but on konami's part it's uh it, it's kind of like like they kind of like do this to like take advantage and then try to like uh, grab more attention towards a certain deck or archetype like when pendulum evolution came out this was june this is a month before where we already had the knowledge by all the way back in march before the tg konami even announced that link format would be around where we we saw the ocg go into that format because and italian YG organization, all the yeah, like, all like the pages. shout out to YG organization. <laughs> yeah, like the, those those Yu-Gi-Oh sources that they get us through the sauce from the OCG side. They are so credible. Yeah, yep. Uh, so we we already knew that would be coming into effect. So seeing Pendulum Evolution one change from a starter deck or not st structure, uh, deck, structure deck to, to a, a booster pack. Yeah, to a to a set to a hidden arsenal type set in, in that manner. Where everything is hollow and then. Like, everything being hollow was, like, the only good thing about Pendulum Evolution. I mean, they, 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 they have some good reprints that didn't have reprints before, like, um, Clifford Monolith, even yeah, though Monolith. Clifford Scout, it, even though they weren't chase cards, they were still pretty good to have. Yeah. Um, for, for me, like, Zephyrus finally became a playable option, just when all those... A hollow playable reprinted. option? Well, not, not just that, but because of the reprints, the actual prices of the Zephyr cards went down, like, like the field spell, so... Uh, yeah. So. Um... We got the Dimension Dimension Dragon Pendulums, um, the four degenerate pendulums, the, the one that nobody plays. Uh, the, the White Wing, nobody yeah, plays White Wing. Um, we got Astrograph, which... It, yeah, Astrograph is a real solid card. It, it should... I was thinking about playing it in the Morph Ages. I'm sorry about talking about the Morph Ages, but... Uh, uh, it's, 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 a real, like, it's a real good tech option. Like, they destroy themselves by their own effect. Special Search and Network. And then, not to mention, you have the, um, the Infection and the... The, the factor, right? The, um, yeah, the, the yeah, persona. No, yeah, yeah persona. Uh, persona's bad. The, the field spell's bad. Yeah. Uh, infection's good. Yeah, infection and uh, lysis. Those are the two ones where uh, lysis is something that's just okay, but infection, it's just good amazing. Good yeah, it's an amazing card. Uh, unfortunately, because of the limited amount of space that we can have. Uh, on the field, it's like it's going to require a lot more innovation to know like what you should play, what you shouldn't play. We can't really play card of demise anymore because you know we Aren't won't have ever? as much. Yeah, we before um, Master Roll Four. Yeah, before Master Roll Four, where we got five set spawn shop cards, card of demise, and then draw a man. Set ages. five. It's, if you draw into a morph ages, you either put them on scale or normal summon them. Or it, it, yeah, it wasn't it wasn't a big deal. Next turn, pendulum switch them. It, it was like wherever you needed them. It it, it, it was real solid. I mean, you can still play with Pendulum Switch now. Yeah, of course. Because it's a good time. It brings them out of your spell trap zone. Yeah. It's like, they they probably have to stay there. That's the thing. It's like, I, like, I kind of like the freedom of having them switch between. And Amorphage is one of those decks I felt like needed back row to like protect it because it was real vulnerable. Now, I feel we're going to have to rely on hand traps, but on relying on hand traps... You're uh, not going to be able to draw your combo pieces 
combo with, pieces. With stuff like Card Demise, because Card Demise and Hand Traps, they, they shouldn't go in the same deck. Just like They're never in the same deck. <laughs> so it's like, it, it's just this big contradiction now. And I feel like a lot of decks are like that because of Link Format, where it's like this big contradiction. Should I play it this way or this way? And it's like there's no real way to know which one is better or more consistent unless you like play test them to like mm. extremes. Like another thing that Konami's done, I feel like, I and mean, this is just my opinion, but I feel like they've instilled like some sort of, like this sort of fear of like investing into a deck for two reasons. One, because of the ban list. Like if you're gonna invest into anything before the ban list, you get this like, feeling of like extreme anxiety. Like, do I really want to do this? And then, uh, I feel like that's mostly just because of uh, Konami's like. I feel like that's not something that they keep in their mind. Like when they're making these sets, they like they don't uh, they don't play test their their cards for balance. Like no, they they actually do. Like if, if you listen to like uh, Jerome McHale, like if you if you listen to him commentate uh, during nationals, I think he was talking a lot about how he tested out the true Dracos before they were even played in the OCG. Like like before they got their effects. Oh yeah. yeah. Uh, changed. Like originally they used to be. Uh, I don't think they had a uh, once per turns on them. So it was like it's something like that where it's like the the effect had to be changed because he he got to play test them before they were actually. Repeated. Oh no no diagram said that it no no diagram popped things in hand and field then the spells and traps didn't have to be. They oh yeah they yeah. didn't have to be popped on the field. Yeah yeah. But if just if they're sent to the graveyard. Oh my god that would be cancer. Okay just pop true kings return in the hand okay that fight would me. Be absolute cancer. But yeah it's like they Konami does play test the cards themselves but I feel like. Uh, you know, like they like they understand what's gonna be meta. They understand, or they have a feeling of you know what's just gonna be okay. Um, and I feel like they should go into more sets with this like dualist alliance. Um, well, I, I mean like the set from two thousand from twenty fourteen, like where they said okay, so in this set, just about every archetype in this set is gonna be a competitive deck. Like that, like that's that, that was kind of like this this marketing scheme that they had. Uh, where it's like, okay, so this is going to be, like, every every deck in this set is going to be competitive. So it was a good set into, to invest in because a lot of those cards, Dante, uh, Shout, Shout Out Fusions, uh, Construct, Construct uh, like, there's a lot of st solid cards in that set. Tellers, where it's like a lot of that stuff for, like, the next year or so was real solid they, uh, meta. Like, three ban cards. lists it took them to to not even fully kill BA. Yeah, well, they and never planet. No, they I, I don't think they ever killed BA. BA just got power crept. Like they never actually killed the deck. And they then never... and then they brought out Wingmakers. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> that's a whole thing. And then Phantom Knights just uh... PK fire. Oh my god! Whoever started that joke? Uh, that was um no not to hand. It was somebody who talked somewhere in Vegas. I I have to watch um Farfa's the chrono chrono chronology of the Burning Abyss. Burning Abyss monster. Shout out to Farfa. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, uh, still, investing in that set was, like, a real solid idea. And, like, sets these days where Konami's making ban lists that don't have set dates or stuff like that, it's, it, it just feels weird. It, again, like I said before, it's not something that Konami really thinks about beforehand, or I don't think they think about, uh, players' money or where it goes. Oh, oh, they do. No, I mean, they, they, if, if they, it only goes to them, I mean. Yeah, But, sure. like, they don't think about the players' money. Uh, where it goes in in the case of the secondary market, um, like buying this deck for like three hundred dollars. Like Konami may not plan for this card to be three hundred dollars. You know what I'm saying? Like well, like when they make certain sets, they like they don't really dictate the the price of uh, the card. They, they may make it they a don't short print. They don't dictate the price. They dictate the the rarity. Like yeah. you know how everyone hyped Ash Blossom and everyone sensible shut up at Ash Blossom, and then lo and behold, Ash Blossom secret. Yeah, it's like. Uh, they, like, they understand what, what are going to be the chase cards, and, you know, what they do is, like, they put a few of them in, like, lower rarity, but they put, like, the big, more relevant ones in, like, higher rarity just to make sure that people buy more of their sets, uh, to actually have access to this. Like, uh, I'm going to edit this out. Yeah, we're editing this out. Um... In my personal opinion, when, um, like, like a lot of good chase cards, like, for example, Back to the Front, that was printed as a rare Maximum Crisis, if, no, Chrono Duelist, Chrono Duelist. Yeah, Chrono Duelist. Sorry about that. Um, if that is printed as, like, a Super or an Ultra... Even a Secret Rare. It, it probably would have been. It, 
could have been a secret rare. Yeah, no, that would have been real money. Like it, it's like a two dollar common, a almost well rare. rare. And you know, if it was a higher rarity, if it was super, it'll probably be somewhere between like three or four. OTS six, calling it um, back to front super. OTS oh, OTS six. That, that, now that would be spicy. That would be spicy. Um, but I feel like that would be too early. No, 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 because um, Lost Wind came in on OTS five as super. Oh. Uh, when did OTS five come out? Uh, like. I want to say like April. April, yeah. That April, May. You know, since OTS six does come out in like December, December so I feel like that could be because. Because it's always a set, like, a set and a half. After oh, yeah, and, and they're reprinting the, the Trick Stars, too. So. Yeah. Yeah, so it... it well, it, no, they're, yeah. They're pretty, like, a few of the Trick Stars, so... Uh, probably, like, Holly Angel or something like that. Those hollow Paleozoics, though. Oh, that's, that's gonna be, must yeah. be good. Um, Are you mean, coming back to see that? Or no. You won't be back until, like, when? January? Next year. Like, oh, jeez. Spring. <laughs> that's not even that far away. Yeah, it's... You'll be in time to see those. Yeah. Uh, but, yeah. Um... Investing into decks is something I feel... Do with caution. Yeah, like, at this point in the game. Like, back then, it was real something real solid, but at this point in the game, uh, especially where we are right now, where we don't really know what's meta other than Pendulum Magician, where it's, like, kind of established itself as, like, the highest point right now. Um, we, we don't really know too much about what's around. There's, like, just this giant mesh of, like, wibbly-wobbly ABC. Uh, I'm, not using, I'm not using Draco. ABC anywhere. Really? I'm not, I'm not even seeing ABC anywhere. I, I think, yeah, uh, True Draco ABC actually topped the, the, the same UDS as uh, the Pendulum Magician did. Um, no, no, ABC's Pure took two. Pendulum Magicians took, like, six or seven. Yeah, they, they were in, like, all the top um, dual, uh, tables. Like, it, like, and then True Draco Invoke just took one recently. Yeah. Um, but, yeah, it's, it's like just, like, after Pendulum Magicians, it's just this giant mesh, and then... Uh, that, that's all going to change with the upcoming sets. Like this. Light it off the world with a little more troop. I got a couple more words. Like I'm looking for a to a like deck right now that you can call tier zero or tier one. Yeah. Everything right now is, like, relatively decent. Not looking at the OCG because it's obvious Spiral. The, they have a Spiral whole just, different game. Spiral's just having a field day in the OCG. It's, it's Spiral just, just like got let out at recess and it's like a sunny <laughs> day on the last day of school. Oh my god, it's cancer. It's just spreading. I wish I was in the OCG right now. No.